Hello everyone, today I'm taking video about the Christmas stocking stuffers 2018. I have three um, little girls, four-year-old, seven-year-old and eight-year-old. So this is their stockings and we have them forever. I mean, um, when our kids were born, I was just buying a new one. So they are pretty large and I really love them and they're very cute. So this year they will have similar um, stuff for their stocking stuffers. And let me show you what I found um, for them. So each of them will have this pick me pops. So we had them before and the idea is that there is couple, um, it says two plush toys, scented plush toys inside and um, Last time we got a couple stickers and the keychain or something. Um, they are very cute. The kids love them. The only problem is that they smell too much. For me, like it's a um, little bit too much smell for the kids. But they are cute and they did play with them a lot. And you can use this uh, container for storage. So we love those. So each girl will have her own one. And also this year they will have this LOL surprise under wraps. I don't know. We never had them before, though we had a lot of um, other ones. And the idea that there is a capsule which contains the same doll and accessories inside. So it's pretty big. Um, I did see like unwrapping for this stuff. Nothing is different. The only thing is that the huge capsule that you can play with after and um, some one tone wrapping stuff around like plastic or rubber. I don't know. But my kids were asking for this stuff and I found it in Target for under $15. So also three absolutely the same ones. The next gift is the lip balm from, from Claire's. Um, you probably have seen this stuff in my previous videos. And we really love it. It's just a um, lip balm with different uh, flavors. And you can attach it to the backpack. And this one is a lion and it has melon flavor. This one is a monkey and it has banana flavor. And the little one will get an owl with the citrus flavor. The next gift for them, it's going to be twisty pads. This is something new. And um, basically, it's a pad. As you can see right now, here is a unicorn. But you can untwist it and connect it together. And it will be a bracelet like on this picture. Um, I did see them on Amazon. And um, I did want to buy from Amazon, but fortunately, I found this stuff in Walmart. They just located somewhere down on the bottom shelf, not noticeable at all, not that much of them, but they exist in Walmart on the lowest shelves where the blind bags are. So this is the unicorn. This is the monkey. And this one is a kitty cat. And I love the colors and the idea. And they really fit the stockings, which is so good. So the next, the next one is the LOL pets. Um, we got a lot of those, but um, because I could find them and they right now everywhere, you can find them at Target. You can find them at Walmart. So they're not like difficult to find right now. And they cost $9.99, which is super good. So I got, I got for them those two three of them and the next gift is the fingerlings minis so basically as you can see on this picture is a little pet it's not just monkey they have a big variety of those and you can put it on the pencil or on the um, finger but it's tiny it's not big it's not heavy and it also comes with a bracelet and um, some charm but the monkey does not hold perfectly on the uh, bracelet because it doesn't have a loop it has probably a tail 
um, it's fallen. But mainly I got it for the school so they can put, or oh, it's here, on their pencils and just, you know, um, have fun. So also you can find them at Kohl's and Walmart and I guess Target, I did see those. Uh, this is the scented bath bomb and it was at $3 uh, from Walmart. The only thing I like about this, um, it's not just the bath bomb, which is already cool stuff, but it says surprise inside. So I'm hoping it's going to be like something, whatever we got... Uh, a couple years ago, also, I have a video about that. We got the Hatchimals. So, basically, when the um, bath bomb dissolves in the water, you can see a little plastic bag with the surprise inside. It's not big, but it's still fun for them to, you know, to unwrap something in the bathtub. For the candy this year, I got them hot chocolate um, Santas. I found this in Walmart. And they will have the nerd's rope. Um, this is the only candy that will fit in the stockings. So this is the candy and the bath bomb. Another color. And here is the pink one. And that how it looks together. And yeah, so why do I have that little candy in the stocking stuffers? First of all... Um, that's what can fit in there. Otherwise, I will have to take a gift away. But um, candy is not a problem to uh, give separately. And I have an idea for you for the advent calendars. Because last year, if you've seen uh, my video, I have a couple subscribers who follow me, uh, following me all the time. And thank you so much for them. Um, so basically, I got three different um, advent calendars. They were Peppa Pig, Legos, and... Uh, and something else, I'm sorry, don't remember, but the idea is they did open it right away, like a couple days and everything was open. They couldn't wait till like every um, new day. So, and I'm like, okay, you can open it because it was like interesting for them. So basically the calendar was opened in like first couple days. And um, this year I decided that they are too little to have an advent calendar. So I will show you right now the idea what I figure out instead of advent calendar uh, for them for this year. And this is how my advent calendar will look like this year. So basically my idea was like that. So I got this little um, Christmas stockings from um, Kohl's with the first letters of their names. They are pretty small. And we will put them um, above the table in the kitchen. So, and every day, I will put something every night, let's say. I will put something um, little for them to be happy in the morning. To be happy to wake up. Because, you know, this time um, of the year, it's too dark outside. And they're not that happy to wake up. Or what? So, basically, what I got, I got, um, if it's a, uh, for example, on the 1st of December, they will have, like, um, this is never too much of those. It's a hot chocolate, you know. So, they will, hot, uh, will have, for example, hot chocolate. So, I will put hot chocolate inside. This is for one day. Uh, probably for the other day, they will have, like, a huge um, Rice Krispies. It will not fit, but uh, still. Sometimes I, I was thinking then when it's like something like coloring thing. This is from dollar store. Nothing too much, but it's good for one day um, to play and to be happy. So each of them will have one of these and probably a piece of candy. So um, this is the Kirkland uh, chocolate war chocolates of the world candy. So I usually buy them every year and they're so good. They have many countries. I don't know which one is from where, but the chocolates are good. And I know half of them my kids love. So I already opened the um, jar for you to show. So let me show you how many of different kinds of candy. Woo! And it's a lot of candy. I can tell you. It's like two pounds. So basically, probably I will um, give them 
like a little towel, magic towel. This is also from um, Dollar Store. And I, I will give them the milk chocolate candy. So, will be a good treat for the morning so they can eat a candy in the morning. They can fix this uh, towel. You just need to wash it under the running water and put it dry. And it will be a regular little hand towel or something. So, basically, yeah, candy plus something fun. If it's going to be... A Kinder Egg. So I got nine of those for three days. Kinder Egg has chocolate already. So half of this egg has chocolate and half of this egg has a toy. So this is, will be the single um, treat in the morning. Um, also, I got them this LOL bracelets. I think they called slap rulers. I don't know why they called rulers, but let's call them bracelets because they look like that. So they will have uh, one bracelet each and a piece of candy. Also, I got them stickers. My kids love stickers. This I found at Walmart. So I will cut one page and we'll put a, um, one page of uh, stickers plus a candy or a bubbles and candy or big santa or um a little bracelet and candy oh this is whatever i'm super excited it's a teeny mini nutella jar and it's actually made out of glass can you imagine it's so cute it's it's a glass bottle with the plastic cap and it's just amazing i feel like they will be super happy about the size and everything and I'm in love with that one. So, for example, if I will have Nutella, I need something different, right? So, I went to Costco and I got this uh, mega fun pack of Shopkins. So, and I already pre-cut it, so I will try to show you what does it look like. Whoa. So, basically, there is 30 individually wrapped um, Shopkins. And... Um, I'm planning to put them also in the little tiny stockings. It says one Shopkin inside and it, it's, you know, the Shopkin is, where is that? It's over here. So it's pretty small. So I can fold it like that and it will definitely fit the stocking. So I can put a little Shopkin plus the candy. So my idea is that my kids will not want to open all at the same time like last year. You know, I was hunting for those... Um, advent calendars i was so excited but i guess they couldn't like wait every day to open it so and they were super happy to open them in a couple of days so i let them two or three and basically we were done so far fast and this year i want them to be like to extend that happiness to have that something just a little bit in the morning that will bring them smile that will make them want to go to school and share with their friends, you know, they can be in a good mood. Also, I found this um, little uh, purses in um, Walmart. So my idea is I will put like one day, I will put here like $2 and they can go to the um, cafeteria and at school for lunch and they can buy like ice cream or some um, chocolate, whatever they would love to buy and basically they will have this um shiny purses to take with them and it looks like you know like it looks like a holiday to me so um i'm hoping if this idea will work this year i will keep doing this stuff it's a little bit of hunting you know you don't want to spend money on, on something that you think your kids will not be happy or too cheap and they will trash it um in a day or something but you know what it th nothing here costs a lot of money so the more expensive thing is the i even don't know like those stuff this is the dollar store items this is from um regular store but it's one dollar this is dollar this is dollar um don't remember but around one dollar um th this huge jar of candy it's 9.99 i do believe i'm not sure these bracelets are a dollar a piece um nutella is i think it's a dollar little jar look at that it's just so cute 
and um, this one was a little bit like a couple dollars but because there is four of them um, so it's basically let's count it as a dollar this was pretty cheap this is from the dollar store four for one dollar um, sticker book was $2.99 or $3.99 and the Shopkins were on sale at Costco for $14.97 I do believe so I did want to buy them the head um Hatchimals, right? Those little eggs from Costco. They were $36, but they somehow disappeared from the store. So I came and, oh my gosh, they don't have them anymore. And I'm like, oh, they still love Shopkins. So let's put Shopkins instead of that little Hatchimals. But if you have a one kid, it will be easier to buy a um, couple um, tiny Hatchimal eggs if you like them better than Shopkins. Because for me, it's like three kids and it should have a couple eggs, right? For a couple days. So it's just too much, too expensive. Okay, thank you so much for watching. And I'm hoping that this was a useful idea for you. And happy shopping and Merry Christmas.